Good afternoon, my fellow brothers and sisters. <laughs> Satan's really trying to get on my nerves today, but he's not going to win because he's trying... So, you know, he can try all he wants. He's still not going to really work out in his favor. I'm going to get this video out. He keeps trying to mess up my video. So, I have a, a little prophecy from the Lord given by the Lord to for me to tell you guys. Um, I was given this last night and I was only watching TV by the way. I didn't really just come up and think about all this. God told me to say, write something down. So I got a piece of paper and a pen and I wrote it down. This is what the results of what God has spoken to me about. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, you scoffers, you mockers, saying, where is your Jesus? That is supposed to come. I have a bone to pick with you. There is coming a day where I will make you hungry. And there will be no food for you. You will be thirsty for wine, but there will be no wine. Because you treat my people with no respect, no love. And the beasts of the earth will feed on your flesh. And the vultures will clean up, clean the rest up. I will erase you from ever existing on the planet. You will go down to the depth of Sheol in agony and in torment. Your memory will be wiped off the face of the earth, says the Lord. If I were you scoffers, if I were you mockers, I would truly stop doing what you're doing to us Christians. If you don't want to experience what is foretold for you, there's only one way you can get out of this experience. First, you must say sorry to those who have, you have wronged. And believe, and you know, and truly mean it also. Second, I would go to Jesus. No, 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 no. Reverse that. First, you can't do that. First, I don't think you can even go say so without, um, without having Jesus. Anyways. First, I want you to repent and make Jesus your Lord and Savior. If you want to know how to get with Jesus, this is how you get with Jesus. Repeat after me. Father God, I'm sorry for mocking your people. And I'm sorry for doing and sinning against you. I ask you to forgive me. I love you, God. And I thank you for having mercy and grace upon my life, even though I was never serving you. I never really cared about you, but I thank you for having mercy and grace. I do believe that Christ did come down died for my sins, and was risen up 
to life. I repent of all of my sins. I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart, make me a new creature. through the Holy Spirit. I make you my Lord and my Savior today. I love you all. Three. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Second, I want you to go say sorry. It's the right thing to do. You know, it's the right thing to do for what you've been doing for the people that are trying to do the right thing. Even though you weren't doing the right thing. But now, you are going to do the right thing by the power of the Holy Ghost. You couldn't do it by yourself. I can't do it by myself. But the Holy Spirit that is now within you. And by the way, your, your life... Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You will live forever. You will be caught up in the rapture if you have prayed this prayer now. If you choose to repent and do the right thing. And turn around from your wicked ways the best way you can. You can't do it by yourself. I couldn't do it. But God within you will do it. If you allow him. If you submit yourself to him. And he will do it. Jesus loves you. And I love you. The Christians love you. Even some of the Jews love you. But, uh, yeah. If you prayed that prayer, welcome to the kingdom of God. I, ask, I urge you to get into a church that God leads you to. Get baptized in water. And also, we get the Bible and start renewing your mind to the Word of God and how God will do things. And study it, you know, so, it can, so when, when things come around your, um, your area that are not of God, you'll be able to defeat those things. You'll be able to defeat evil through the Word of God. And the spirit that lives within you. I love you all. I really want you guys to have a good day. Until next time. God be willing. Have a good day.